guys, what is up? Davis here. So this video is going to show you guys how to fix the uh, E71 error. I told you guys on my Instagram I'm going to make one, so this is it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you go do that right now. So this is the E71. I did this on purpose so I can show you guys how to fix it. Now there's two different ways, or there's two different things that can cause E71. The number one thing that can cause E71 is flashing your NAND and then the NAND is actually corrupted and it wasn't built correctly the program just didn't just didn't build the NAND correctly and the XAM inside of the NAND is corrupted so only way to fix that is to boot your console through Zell and flash a NAND through there I'm not going to show you how to do that um, but ever since this dashboard came out uh, people have been having this error and it's not because of the bad NAND flash it's caused by a bad plugin and that is the other uh, thing that can cause this to happen so this console does have a bad plugin and I'm gonna show you how to how to check to see if it's a bad NAND flash or if it's a bad plugin so we turn this off and then flip it over like this uh, if we take the hard drive out and then we turn this console back on I'm gonna leave it like that for, for the second um, and if it boots past the logo just fine then that means that it is a, um, it's just a bad plugin on the hard drive. Now there's different ways that you could you could delete that plugin on the hard drive. Uh, you can hook it up to the computer and use Party Buffalo or something like that. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do this and fix it. So basically, I'm going to show you guys how to bypass the plugins using a launch INI. It's really simple, and it, it takes a couple seconds so you're gonna need a flash drive for this I have a PNY 120 gigabyte USB 3.0 it doesn't have to be that big uh, the file is like a, a kilobyte or something it's not big at all um, so we're gonna plug this in here and this is going into my computer now you're gonna need a launch INI file and that is what this is right here and you need a blank one and a blank one means that there's no plugin set. All, all, the only plugin that is set is XBDM, and that is what we need. And then after it's fixed, you can go into a neighborhood and then edit the plugins through there because you'll be able to connect because XBDM is set as a plugin. So we're going to take this file. If you don't have it, then you can download it in the description. But we're going to open up our folder, go to the USB drive. And as you can see, I have uh, the launch and I already on here. Basically, we're just going to drag and drop this right in there. And as you can see, it is right there. That's what we need. So that's that's it. You just download that file, put it on your the root of the flash drive, unplug it, put that in here, turn it on. The hard drive is still in there. That instant boot, though. Then it'll take you right past the um, the logo, which is what you want. Which you won't be able to use anything right now because of the bad plugin. All right, guys. So the next thing that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to update your Stealth Server files. And so the bad plugin that we had was XP Online. And if you guys are wanting to use XP Online, then obviously you're gonna need you're gonna want to update it. So you're just gonna simply if you're using neighborhood you can just drag and drop it and replace the new file you're gonna to need to go to their website and download the new files first obviously and then you know just copy and paste it so but if you don't have neighborhood and or say you have a Mac or a Chromebook or something you can't use neighborhood and all you have is a flash drive then it's okay you don't need neighborhood to do this you can simply put your flash drive back in your computer copy the XP online fi uh, file back to your computer to your flash drive just like you did the launch on i folder that uh, we did earlier just copy and paste it and then you can go into xcx menu um you know and then just copy and paste the folder there uh just click y and then click paste and it's it's that simple now say you don't want xp online and you don't have neighborhood to change the plugins um or you know you don't have the you don't have neighborhood to change the launch i and i uh, and you can only do it with the flash drive then all you got to do is you know copy the new files to the hard drive whatever server you want to use just copy it to your hard drive first and then you want to scroll over click RB and 
As you can see at the top, it, that green checkbox, uh, it says that USB is selected. So if we were to, to edit our plugins right now, it's going to be set from the, from the blank launch INI. See, there's no plugins at all. It's just XBDM, which is what the blank launch INI is. So we need to scroll down and click A on HDD, and then it's going to load from there. So now if we go down to plugins, ours, uh, it didn't really change much, but you know, we have the GRPC2 now, which is from the hard drive. So, uh, just say that we didn't we didn't want XP Online anymore. Say XP Online was set right here at the plugin 2. We can just click A on it, click HDD, and then let's see. Say we want it Ninja now. We just select it, then we're going to click RB. And then click X only, just X, and then it's gonna say down there at the bottom that the settings saved to HDD launch I and I. So that's about it, guys. I uh, hope this video helped you. And if it did, be sure to leave a comment to let me know that it did help and all that good stuff. So you guys have a great day.